You guys made a loud and clear statement. Uh, so much happened in this game. Let's start with, with, with the brawl. Uh, what was your view of what took place a minute into the fourth quarter? Man, I don't know. I just know dudes started scrapping and I had to protect my teammates. Uh, that's what it boiled down to. Obviously, you get ejected if you lead the bench. So I tried to stay on the sideline and run from the run from baseline uh, sideline to sideline to see if I can uh, help my teammates. But you know, those scuffles happen. It's part of basketball. We compete. You know, it's going. We're gonna have blowups like that. Look, Bam. Things really turn with Jimmy out. Somebody had to step up, and it was you who really were the go-to guy in that fourth quarter. Talk about what was going through your mind, and was there a concerted effort, you know, to find you uh, with the basketball? Yeah, you know, when you know when our main guy goes out, somebody has to step up, um, and my number got called. You know, all them summer workouts, all them late night <laughs> stressing on if I'm gonna make shots, uh, it paid off tonight. So biggest thing for us is just keep building off this momentum. Bam is now seven wins in the last nine games. You guys showed a lot of grit, and physical toughness, and mental toughness, and, and emotional balance to win this game. This this feels like a, a significant road win tonight for you guys, and you guys are trending in, in a very positive direction. Yeah, man, just keep chipping, keep fighting, uh, keep willing to these wins, and, you know, we're going to be all right. I love what you did at a blocking shots tonight, Bam. You know, the heat number 30 out of 30 team and in, in shot blocking but you had three personally the team overall had a season high 11 uh, just outstanding defensive performance protecting your rim yeah you know that's been a bit if it's a force uh, these last nine games you know finding our identity you know I always said let our defense be our offense and guys have bought into that Bam, last question for you. How, how difficult was it physically to defend and, and deal with the front line of Valanciunas and Zion Williamson tonight? Man, I mean, it's tough. You got two guys that attack the rim, you know, big bodies in the paint, big bodies in the paint flying around. So biggest thing for us is, you know, Coach tell us, go get rebounds, two hands, protect yourself, and we're going to be all right, and wish we were. Bam Adebayo, thanks for uh, spending time with us in the winner's circle. You are everything an all-star <laughs> is supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> franchise centerpiece. Congratulations on a great win. Thank thanks, you. Thanks, Big Bam. Well, this morning you're talking about you know, having to win it in the mud. Sometimes the mud gets dirty, and you have to win it by any means necessary. You don't want to see that. Type yeah, of you don't want to see that. I mean, it, 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 yeah, um, once it was all done, um, the response was uh, appropriate. Um, you know, more discipline physicality and force uh but not uh going over the top uh you know nobody wants to, to see you know anything you know like that um it did not have the intensity of an all-star game you know that's for sure um but that's what competitors want that's what the fans want that's what everybody wants all right and then sometimes it it, it boils over uh unfortunately um i know it was kind of a it was just a, I, I, I think, a, a misunderstanding on the play. I, I honestly think Zion slipped on the play when, when uh, K-Love grabbed him. And it looked a lot worse than, than what it was. Um, and then, you know, everybody kind of overreacted, you know, to that point. It looked like, I, I think they interpreted it that K-Love threw him down, which I think on K-Love's best day, I don't think he could throw him down. Um, K-Love and, and Zion didn't have anything going on with him, you know. Uh, K-Love, you know, I think helped him up. Uh, and then it just was unfortunate from from that point. Uh, um, and escalated, and then we'll just see, you know, what happens, you know, uh, you know, from the league. Um, but I think, uh, you know, everybody's intentions were, were um, you know, right at first, but you just, you, you get a bunch of competitive people out there and it, and it kind of boiled over. Um, but after that point, um, you know, I, I did uh, appreciate the response. You know, it, it could be, uh, you know, take your mind out of it, but uh, it was a very disciplined uh, second half defensively where we almost gave up 60 points in the first half. You know, that and those last four minutes of the second quarter were, uh, were really, uh, you know, dis disappointing, you know, because we set the tone for the game. But that happens. They're a very good team. Uh, um, but to hold a team like that, even without, you know, McCollum and Ingram, you know, to 37 points in the second half, that's that's something, you know, that's that's more to our identity. And we're able to win that, you know, as you said, in the mud and then had some real, uh, you know, tough, gritty possessions offensively.
You know, they stepped up their defense, and it took those offensive rebounds. It took some post-ups from Bam. It took some uh, end-of-possession plays where Bam really kind of saved us. Uh, and, and there was a bunch of different guys stepping up, you know, to be able to secure the win. Yeah, yeah, he did. And, and that's what, you know, Bam and Jimmy and a lot of our guys can do is when it it gets to that boiling point from a competitive standpoint, they can just zero in and not lose their minds and just focus on the task at hand. Bam made so many great defensive plays uh, down the stretch. And, uh, you know, it's a sign of, of good teams that even with Jimmy out that, you know, other guys could step up and and they wanted it you could feel it that guys wanted to do it you know for um you know jimmy and 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 just the context of everything let's just figure out a way to to finish this game and and make sure it's a win um but you know for sure uh you know bam just kind of anchored a lot of things for us it's not necessarily the scoring but we had somewhere where we could throw the ball like you know we had a lot of our ball handlers out we were running the ball you know through him at the top of the floor and then once it got down to the three minute mark and I took that time out we started to post them just to kind of try to slow the game down a little bit regardless of any of the tension this was on your seventh straight win playing against the Pelicans um what do you think um, if anything specific has given you such success against this team? I don't think anything translates from one year to the next. I really don't. We had a one of those uh, against another team where we've lost all those games. It, it, there's different players, different teams, different coaches a lot of times. I, I don't think anything. Um, we were just fortunate that uh, we were able to respond in that second half and respond after that, um, you know, that uh, deal. And... You still have to finish it off, you know, somehow, some way. Uh, they're a good team, and and they were missing, you know, a lot of firepower with with McCollum and, and Ingram. We we're without Jimmy and and Rogier, um, and, and you just have to f figure it out. You have to find a way to make enough plays and 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 secure the win. And we were able to do that. Were you able to talk to Tyler at all after the game? I was, but look, you can't determine anything right now. Um, you know, we'll just, we'll see. At least he was able to walk off uh, off the court. Um, we'll see, you know, tomorrow. All right, thank you. Important is it that while that intensity and the competition of it is something that's a part of this, but turns into a positive for your team and ends up being a victory as well? No, yeah, hell yeah. You always want to win. Wins are hard to come by in this league, especially against a, a good squad like New Orleans. Um, but it just goes to show. We've been winning with and without guys all year long. This is no no different. So I'm happy for my guys to be able to go out there and get a dub. Um, first game back after the break. So we, we take that momentum and we run with it. What have you liked most about the way you all have done it, particularly leading with your defense? Um, I think we just play the right way. Yes, we, we go on these stretches where we're, we're not guarding, and then we figure it out. We know who we are. We know where we want to be um, in a couple of months. So we start playing the right way, especially on the defensive side of the ball. Um, I think that's where it all starts for us, though. If we're guarding somebody, offense is easy. We just got to always lock in on the defensive side of the ball. What was your view of why it escalated the way it did? Um, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you know, I put my hand around his neck. He put his hand around my neck. And then it just, you know, it, it took off the way it did. Um, people really. Um, so I'm thinking a lot of your fans really love that term, kind of like "don't poke the bear." Do you think, like, kind of with this tension and um, the way everything kind of goes down, um, do you think you'll carry a little bit of that tension into the next game? Oh, the Maybe. next time we play them? Yeah. I mean, sure. Uh, we'll beat them the next time too. We just, we're just a better team. Um, I'm not gonna say that um, they're not a good team, but I, I don't think this really matters. Uh, I think that, you know, when we get them on our home court, it's going to be a different game. I hope that they're healthy, and uh, it's going to be the same outcome. I think our, our team is so <clears throat> ready for anything that anybody's throwing at us. Um, we're so together. We're playing some incredible basketball. I don't think it matters who we go up against right now. It's, it's that time of the year. Obviously, you don't want to get ejected, but how much do you enjoy that back and forth? I love it. I love it. I don't want to get ejected, not because I'm out there... I'm not out there with my team, but 
I don't like the fine that I'm finna get. That's the one that really gets me. But I feel like if I'm gonna do that, I should have just earned my fine a little bit more. I think I don't think I should have got thrown out the game first of all. So New Orleans got lucky because I'm finna come after y'all in the fourth quarter. Jimmy, even though you didn't get your full allotment of time, it felt and looked like you picked up right where you left off. Did it feel that way? Oh hell yeah! Um, even whenever I was out, um, I had Chris Brickley with me, and he's done numbers for me on the offensive side of the ball. So I'm just so lucky to have him. Um, I had James Scott with me out in San Diego. Lucky to have him. Armando wasn't too far away. Lucky to have him. I have an incredible group around me to make sure that I'm prepared and ready to go now of all time. So without them, I wouldn't be able to be me. All right, thanks so much.